Welcome to Author Skillset Wednesday. Today's quote comes from the amazing Derek Jeter, who said, There may be people who have more talent than you, but there's no excuse for anyone ever to work harder than you. This is one of the reasons that I absolutely love, you know, talking about sports people, you know, the athletes that are the absolute top of their game, uh, not only the top of their team, but the top of their entire sport. Because there are amazing examples of what's possible when one person chooses to do everything required to guarantee their success. You know, and, and that works because so many people aren't. Even though they're on professional teams, even though they're, they have jobs that people would, you know, kill for, a lot of these guys, a lot of these girls, simply don't work as hard as they could to become, you know, that 1% of the 1% that become superstars. Um, one of the things that I love about watching these athletes, you know, is that come game day, uh, I forget who it was, I think it was Jerry Rice, wide receiver Jerry Rice, Hall of Famer, said <clears throat> something to the effect of, I'm going to do the work today that my competitors and my teammates aren't willing to do today so that come game day, I can do what they can't. I'm going to first do what they won't, and then I'll be able to do what they can't. And I will always win. And, you know, he had a pretty incredible career, which really sort of proves the point, right? Hard work on the right plan of action always wins. Always. You know... I'm not the most talented writer in the world. I'm certainly not the most skilled writer in the world, but I am a hardworking and I'm committed author who will always do everything it takes every single day to get my book written and published and out into the world so that I can have the impact that I want to have. This, I don't say this to, you know, blow my own horn because I'm not. Um, I, I've written and published dozens of books. Uh, far more talented people than me, far more, you know, skilled writers than me, you know, over that same time, pan, time span, haven't written or published a thing. It's not that they can't, it's that they don't. They could, if they were willing to do the work, and for reasons that are very sad sometimes, they're not. You know, I don't say this, as I said, this is not a measure of how awesome Christopher D'Armani is, because, well, you know, I am, but it's <laughs> still not the point. It's just, I, it's an example of one measure of why I'm successful when lots of other people aren't. And that's why I love helping other authors figure out how to go from that blank page to finish first draft to publish book with ease. Because I've done this 49 times. I'm on my 50th book as I'm filming this video. And I have a system that works really, really well for getting that idea into the plan stage what I like to call the roadmap for author success. And then I have a whole system worked out to help you figure out how in your life, with your circumstances, you can do that too. Because as I say, <laughs> probably more often than, than I ought, none of this stuff is difficult. Writing and publishing a book really is not very difficult. But it does require diligence. It does require hard work. And it does require you to do that every single day until that goal is achieved. And that's why I'm successful when, when lots of other people aren't. There's a lot of people who say they want to write a book and they never do. And, you know, that breaks my heart. It truly does. Because they could and they should, but they are not willing to put in the effort required. That you're watching this video specifically tells me that's not you, which, yay, I love that. Uh, but if you're still struggling, then I want you to apply your perseverance. You know, and I want you to understand how easy, or sorry, how simple, I shouldn't say easy, how simple success truly can be when it comes to anything in life, any worthy goal, but specifically we're talking here about books. Pick your desired goal, whatever that might be. If you have a really great book you want to write, you know, that's the, the, the amazing goal. Design your roadmap for success. Figure out all the steps required to go from blank page to published book. And then figure out how you're going to market the book as well. Because if you write and publish it and don't market it, you're not going to achieve your dreams. You're not going to achieve those goals. But when you apply that daily effort to that solid plan, 
you know, and you refuse to quit, your success is guaranteed. It truly is. Because it, it's impossible to fail if you do these things. It simply is impossible to fail. You know, writing your book does take effort. I won't lie to you. It absolutely does. And ideally, in the perfect world, you want to make that effort every single day. You want to build that habit for writing success. Because once it's a habit, it's simply a lot easier to do every single day. And here's the kicker. Whether you feel like it or not, you know, I talk about personal integrity in terms of writing and, I, and, and how I define that is that I will do what I said I was going to do when I said I was going to do it, whether I feel like it or not. And if I schedule my writing appointments, and I harp on this all the time, I know, but it works. If I schedule my writing appointments, if I keep those appointments with myself and do what I said I would do, especially on those days where I don't feel like it, my first draft becomes inevitable. And I love making this process inevitable. With your, your diligence, with your perseverance, your published book can be out there in the world making the changes you want to make, making the impact on the people you want to have that impact made on. You know, and if you're still listening to this, thank you. But if you still think maybe I'm, you know, full of crap or maybe I'm a little too pie in the sky that there's some challenges that you have that I am not aware of that make this impossible for you. I would simply ask for you to set that thought aside for a minute and then book a call, schedule a call. And we will talk about what's really possible. What's not. We'll go through a series of questions about why this is important to you and why you want to do it. And we'll also of course, dig into some of those reasons of what's stopping you or what you think might be stopping you because I've yet to find someone who wants to write a book who has a problem that is so insurmountable they can't do it. You know, there's some really amazing examples through history. <laughs> Forget the gentleman's name. I got a, I got to do a video on this, but this gentleman caught some bizarre disease and he was paralyzed. He couldn't do, do anything. He literally typed out his book with a stenographer by blinking the letters of each word. It took him a long time, as you can well imagine. But he had something to say and he desperately wanted to say it. And he did. So in a future video, I will talk specifically about that gentleman because it's such an uh, amazing story about, about perseverance, about finding a way to get that thing done that you want to do. So if writing a book is the thing that's on your heart, do it. If you want a little bit of a help to figure out the how, get a hold of me. I would love to help figure this stuff out. I would love to help give you some clarity so you know what your next step is. That's it. It's kind of why I do all these videos because I want to make sure that if you are a person who wants to write and publish a book, that you have the opportunity to, to get some of those questions answered without it costing you a dime. All right. So have a fantastic rest of your day. And if that sounds like something you want to do, great, do it. And, uh, and if not, well, great. Thanks for watching. And, uh, we'll see you again tomorrow at three o'clock until then. Bye for now.